Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer and thank you so much for watching me today. Okay, today I want to talk about the colours of heaven. Um, you know, it's a common thing here that it has been proven and I don't know how they proved it, but humans only see 5% of the colour spectrum. So if you use it as a pie chart, we only use about that much of the pie chart. It's a very thin little slice. So when we go to heaven, we're encountering all these new colours that we don't know what they are. Because one, we don't know the name of it, so we can't call it purple, red, yellow or green. Okay, And we can't describe it to anyone because they're so different. You know, if you've got to tell someone the difference between yellow as opposed to red, how do we explain those differences with another third variant of colour that that other person has never seen? So it is extremely hard. But there is some hope today because I'm also going to talk about auras. I see auras, which is the energy around people. And what I did a few years ago, I actually went up to my Bunnings, which is a major hardware store here in Australia. They have huge buildings everywhere, Bunnings. So I went into their paint section and I went up to their paint samples and I was taking down all the paint samples. This lady next to me, she was looking at me like, how many paintings are you doing? So this is my paint samples that I got. So you know, just to show you, one page has got three different colours on it. So, and I've got all the yellows, I've got all the pinks, all the <coughs> reds into oranges, then it goes into the purples and the um, reds, then it goes into the purples and the blues hues, and I've got all the blue hues, and it goes into all the greens at the back, right? So, to me, that's how every colour of the rainbow is... Um, identified here in all my um, paint samples so when I see a, a aura around somebody I can go through here and I look at them and I color code it and I say oh here it is you've got this beautiful shade of purple and I tell them what it's called so this one here is called grape passion grape passion so then the person can go and research it and find it themselves so that they know what the color is right but the thing is with auras, and the same as heaven colours, here's a big doozy. I didn't I did not see the colours in heaven, and I did not I do not see auras in something just like this. To me, this is bland. This is dimensional. Um, it's three-dimensional. It's boring. <laughs> I'll just go there. This colour to me is boring. Because in heaven the same as when I see auras, the colours are shimmering. It's like they're glitterized, they sparkle. They've got like a fluorescent to them with sparkles coming out of it. And they're dimensional. So even the colour, like I'm wearing a black jacket today, this is my leather jacket, the colour black is dimensional where I could put my finger through it. That's the difference with colours in heaven and in auras than just colours here on earth. We can't explain it any other way because it is just so intelligent. Now, what do I mean by intelligent? It means that the colours think. They are that same oneness like when I'm talking in my book, so here's my book, Five Years in Heaven. When I talk about being up in heaven, and I'm talking about the buildings, the shadows, the waters, the sky, what the sky was like, the music, the mountains. Let me just go through to see if I can find hugging and cuddling these in there. We've got the people and animals. Do I talk about the colours? Field of flowers. Okay, here we go. Here's a photo I did of a flower some of the flowers see at the end of it they've got these little dit dit dits coming out of the end that's what I'm talking about because it was energy okay energy so everything was made of energy including the colors 
So we have the rainbow effect here, which is only 5% of the color spectrum, which I have indicatively here with all the hues of each color that we have here in our rainbow. But when we're in heaven, there are so many other colors. The only way now I see those colors is when I go to bed at night and I close my eyes and I remember being there. I can clearly see the colors and the buildings and the people and the landscape, the mountains, the lakes, everything there. Even my great, 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 great grandmother, who I talk about in my book as well. But everything is like it happened yesterday. There is no time in distance between being there in 2001 to where I am now in 2022. So that 21 years of time does not exist when I go back into my heavenly memories and they are now in my thoughts just like it happened yesterday. So I have other memories of when I woke up and things I did before this event when I died in 2001. Those memories are now different. They're not as vivid, lucid. Lucid is a good word. So the colors are still very, very prominent in my mind's eye. But I can't explain them today except for telling you that they are intelligent beings of consciousness. So I hope that that's given you a little heads up today, guys. If you do want a copy of my book, it, the link is below. And I'm also now on PayPal Me. So if you do want to throw me some coffee for um, some money for a coffee or tip jar, the link is below. Love yous all, guys. Talk to yous all soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.